Hello lovely people, this is Simone here, Simone's Fluid Art, and I have another toilet seat. This time it's a customer's. So now she wants something I'm not really used to or really good at. Subtlety, subtle tones, mostly cream, uh, gold and grey. So all my colours today are self-mixed. This is a mix between Amsterdam Titanium White and Black and a little touch of pearl white as well. This is Pebeo Iridescent uh, Blue Green also mid pearl white. Uh, so to tone it down a bit. Then we have uh, Naples Yellow Light Amsterdam. She wants mostly creamies and gold. So this here is uh, Athena Metallic Green also mixed with a pearl white from Amsterdam also to make it more like a minty green very subtle and we will only use drips of that and then we have our Titan buff light by Amsterdam to match her cream colored tiles then we have our beautiful 24 karat gold and just for giggles because um, the consistency in this pour is a bit thicker it's somewhere between my normal dutch pour and the botanical dutch pour to see if i get some cells because in the botanical dutch pour the paints are so thick you get very little cells i'm adding on the top also just a little bit that's my shelly art cell activator um, that's three part australian floral and one part amsterdam um, titanium weight let's get started I want to design here in the front. It's all, it's all about subtlety and um, careful with the colors as, as such. Okay, I'm going to start here, not too close to the edge because it is going to run off, and somewhere up here. Try to make even lines and get a nice little outline, hopefully, in the gray tone she wanted to have. Okay, so now, very carefully, with my teeny little spoon, I'll just um, put drops of paint on really very, very little. Okay, so now, next one. It's, it's not enough to put it in a uh, squeeze bottle, but I always struggle. I'm so used to my squeeze bottles to get the right amount on <laughs> from a cup. Oh, that's not so bad. A paper cup so I can squeeze them um, to make a little spout just here, a little bit more. There you go. So now comes our minty metallic green, also just a few drops, not too much, and I'll try to set them, you know, in the middle of the blues. a little bit off okay now our titan buff we can use a good amount of that because that's the cream she's most eager for because her entire bathroom is done in uh, cream colored coral stones so i'll just give a goodly bit off of that on and then she also wants it quite goldy might as well just do this here. So, give a goodly bit on, and then just a very thin line of the cream over the top. Because we don't want our gold to take over. Completely, that is. So, and now, a few drops of our cell activator. Can 
it. Ooh, that was a bit much. So now, without further ado, let's blow it out before the entirety of it rolls down my edges. Okay, so that's my first step. That's just to get the edge that I want here. Um, coming all down and not having any white there. Okay, so now I'm going to come up with this here, one in the middle, this here and that. So I'm going to add more color to that to bring it more in. And I'm not going to use any of the colors. I only use the grays, the creams, the gold, and a little few drops of the white. Because that's the most important thing for her. Ooh, that was a bit much. That it's not too loud. Oh, we dripped some color onto our white negative space. Let's clean that up instantly. And okay. Few dribbles of white. Okay, it's running. So quickly up it goes, right over here. not too loud now and creamy enough let's do this side a little bit more in so we'll do it from this like so now the maple's yellow Blow it out. Okay, just uh, 
remind all of you, beginner Dutch poor artists, it's very important that you never hold it like this because you're going to push the paint in the pillow and churn them. It's better to hold it this way around and then about a 45 degree angle. And then that's the way you should move your paint forward and very slowly so we're not in a rush. should be nice and soft now we're gonna prolong this a little bit not quite as much as the ends just a little bit okay. yeah I think I like that with the subtle shimmers of color on the bottom and the uh, petals just the creamies and goldies and the gray so, next one Now very, I might try it on the lower setting to see if I can move it. very much and now right here just a little bit hang on we're gonna take it from here just up really just a bit to give that also some height and some dimension a little bit about here okay. oh no 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 that wasn't so good The part is that it's relatively easy if you have dripped, you just stick your finger in and sometimes it might be you just have to add a little drop of white. That should be it.
Okay, I think that's enough with the blow dryer. From here on out, we may play a little bit with our um, dotting tool. So, first of all, this is cell activator, just a blob of white. If you blow on it, you help it to sink. So then the white sinks, it's the heavier paint, and the color underneath comes up as you see the grays coming up here. And then you can just leave it alone, and it will do his, its thing. Well, same here, we have a blob of cell activator all together. Okay, I think that's rather pretty. Ah, that's cream, not white. Okay, that's all right. So let's grab a paper towel. The paint is thinner than normal, so I will today I will use um, the thicker part of my uh, dotting tool normally for designs I use oops where are we a much thinner one let's see what this can do for us so beautiful oh there's so many cool cells with that little bit of um, cell activator it looks really really cool so I'm not going to completely um, design it like a botanical Dutch pour, just a little bit. I like it when I can pull those tips out a little bit. I think it gives it a little whimsical look. Okay. So here, the design, right here, let's take it over here as well. out so okay. keep our line going so
<clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, let's come from here. Okay. Okay, I think that's it this time. I was at it before, and the lady didn't like it. It was too much color. Yeah, and not to miss a subtlety. That comes not very easy to me. <laughs> I like my colors nice and bright, but whatever pays the next load of art supplies, right? Okay, I think that is, hopefully, to her liking, nice and subtle. Um, let's give it a little torch to see if we have any more air bubbles. fits her bathroom very well all right i'll get you down for a close-up in a minute till then bye